Hey everyone, long time no tutorial. I've been absolutely snowed under with college work so I haven't actually had time to sit down to film. But I have a tutorial today for you just in time for Halloween. It's a butterfly kind of fantasy makeup look. Although I wasn't overly happy with how it turned out, a lot of you still wanted to see how to do it. So if you want to see how I created it then just keep watching. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a white eyeliner pencil. Anyone will do, preferably one that's kind of creamy so you're not pulling and dragging on the skin. And I'm using this to outline the shape. Now this is only going to be a very rough shape so it doesn't matter if you make mistakes because it won't look like this when you're finished. So it helps to mark out points on your face so it matches up with the other side. And another reason why I use the white pencil is because if you make a mistake you can easily blend it back into the skin and then just start over. So how you do the shape is all up to you, I've just created this shape and I'm leaving a spot open near my eye, just personal preference. Then I'm going to take a blue um, Maybelline colour tattoo and I'm using this as my base colour because I'm going to be using blue eyeshadows on later so I want them to appear as vibrantly as possible. Now you don't have to use this blue, you can go back in with the white pencil as well and cover up the entire design, that'll do the exact same thing, it'll ensure that the blues that you put on over it will pop. And I'm just using a synthetic brush as this works best with cream products. Next I'm going in with this really nice blue pigment from Stargazer. I'm not using any mixing medium with it, I'm just using it from the pot and I'm applying it to the face with patting motions. Because we already have a cream base on, it's going to give you that kind of tackiness, so the product will really stick to it and you won't get a lot of fallout. So you just want to take your time with this to make sure you get a nice even layer. And when I come to underneath the eye area, I'm just lightly blending it out because I don't want to apply any shadow there. I'm just taking it down the nose as well. Then I'm going in with this darker blue shadow and I'm using this as a contour. So I'm just going along the outside of the design and I'm blending that blue shadow in. So this is just going to give um, a more three dimensional look to your butterfly. So just go over the areas, blend it in and if you blend it in too much, just go back in with the brush you already used with the lighter blue and then re-blend. And not to worry if you can still see that white outline that we drew in earlier, it's going to be covered up later with some black eyeliner. Then we're going to take this kind of greeny colour and I'm using this to, again, just add some more dimension. I'm using various shades of blue so that the butterfly really pops. So I'm applying this in like a backwards three shape, so I'm applying it underneath the arch of the brow, down onto the tops of the cheekbones. Then to fill in that space that we've left blank, I'm going to take a, another pigment from Stargazer. It's just a plain white one and I'm using this to highlight that inner portion. And I'm also bringing it down as a contour on the nose. To create some further depth, I'm going in with a black eyeshadow. Now this particular one is black with little blue um, glittery specks in it. It's from Inglot and it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm just using that to tie in with the whole blue look. So I've just gone around and outlined the shape. Now this step is optional, you don't have to do this. I've just taken a cold pencil and I'm outlining the shape. I do this first so that when I use my liquid liner later on, it's a little bit easier as you already have the shape mapped out. So you're gonna make less mistakes. Another great thing about using the cold pencil is that if you actually make mistakes drawn on the outline you can just blend it in with the design and it's just giving you a more three-dimensional look so you can't really lose. Then I'm taking the pencil and I'm just drawing in some shapes. It doesn't have to be the exact same as the other side, I think that just adds to the quirkiness of it. So I just kind of made it up as it goes along, I just uh, did random shapes so it's up to you what kind of pattern you want to draw. Then I just went over it with the liquid liner just to save some time and then I'm going in with an Essence eyeliner pencil, it's a felt tip pen and I'm just drawing in some more details to the makeup look. So now that your design is complete I'm going to move on to the lips. This is totally optional as well because we have a lot going on, you can just opt for a nude lip. I didn't, I actually took the black liner again and I outlined my lips and then I just blended out the lines. Then I'm going to take this really gorgeous um, lipstick from Stargazer, now it's very very hard to work with, it's very drying, I actually couldn't move it across my lips but it's a beautiful colour and I just thought I'd make it work for the tutorial. I apply that in the centre of my lips and then I blend it 
the black into the blue and then that's our finished look. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you have a safe Halloween. Thanks a million for watching.